Hello and welcome to a new video. This will be my 2021 reading journal. Uh, this is a Leuchtturm journal. Um, I think it's in the color gray. Uh, she's a little chunky. It's... yeah, she's... she's a big girl. Okay. We will... I don't know, start out with the cover. Most of the stickers here are from Redbubble. Uh, I don't make my covers all at once. I collect stickers as we go and add to it throughout the entire year. So it's just a nice, fun, strange looking collage. Uh, I didn't really focus on the back this year. Couldn't really care about the back this year. Um, but we have a couple stickers from Cloak, from Redbubble. Um, I made this one. This one is from a shop. Nano Ramo sticker back there. Made that one too. You know, anyway. It's just fun. Alright, starting out on the first page, I didn't know what to do with the first page, so I made it a, another collage page. I think it was really cute. Really enjoyed it. I love looking at this page. Moving forward, uh, I saw a post on Pinterest. Uh, with something similar where you took uh, like library card uh, things and they looked, will it focus? That's the question. There we go. So you just took, it's like a cute little library card and it's all the books that I read each month. Um, and then on the back I put what theme was for that month. So it's just a cute little, cute little thing that we got going on here. I can't put it back. Oops. <laughs> I can't put it back. There we go. So yeah, I have a bunch of like, I have 12 of these, and each, each one is different. Each, another collage page. Oh, towards the end of the year, I bought some stuff from Katie Robert, uh, and this is just some of the packaging that came in some of her stuff. And I, it's like metallic and pretty, I wanted to keep it, so I did. Anyway, here is my 2021 reading goal. Uh, I wanted to read a total of 21 books. That's always my goal for each year. For 2020, it was, I think it was 52 books, but I tried to get to 20, and then 2021 was 21 books. 2022 will be 22 books, so there's that. Um, I had for my tw 21 in 21 spread, uh, any book that I read was colored in with a, like, silvery pen but I achieved 52 books this year and I'm so proud of myself I I had no idea I read so many ebooks this year I read a lot of ebooks which is fascinating because the year before I read a lot of uh, audiobooks I think so then we have my 2020 favorite spread uh, this is really just an homage page to the bring me their heart series uh, I love this series. And apparently I needed to dedicate a page to it, so there you go. Uh, I then tried to put my stats down here, but uh, it didn't really work out, so we just, we're just gonna move on. Uh, this is my most anticipated releases. This had absolutely no use for me. I, I didn't even fill out the entire first page, so this will not be going in the next one. We then had, okay, first of all, don't look at that. We then had the Bookopoly board by, what's her name? Becca in the books or whatever? I can't quite recall. I'll put, I'll put her name on the screen. But we had a beautiful bingo board, which I then covered with a lot of bat washi tape. I'd never used this. Never once. Never once in my entire year used this. I did make a bingo board to see if that would help. But as you can see, I, it, it didn't work. I, I, I never used it. So we're not going to use it in the next one. Here are my reading stats. Uh, I read a total of 52 books this year. Uh, 20 physical, 32 audio and ebooks. I read uh, 12,160 pages. And I made 15 videos, <laughs> which, is, which is an improvement from the year before. But... Uh, these are my reading stats. I love how this page turned out. 
and I tried to recreate it in my 2022 reading journal and it's just not the same like this one just this one just looks so good I love how this one looks and the, the new one doesn't look so good so we're gonna have to fix it and then we're here to the 21 in 2021 spread. Uh, these were just the books that I thought that I could pick up quickly if I was in a reading slump and I could just like devour them. Did I get to any of them? I got to a couple of them. How many did I get to? I got to one, two, I got to like seven of them. I got to seven of the 21. So I missed 14 of them, <laughs> but uh, that's okay. I can, I can always pick these up in the new year. Here is the January TBR page. Uh, I went with the Dreamstone from the Wonder Woman 1984 movie. Um, I really like the Dreamstone. Uh, so I put it in here. I have a whole video of making this first spread. So if you'd like to go check that out, I will put it up in the thing for you. This is my January TBR. We then get to the Colorado Kid. I also have a spread making this. I think they're all in the same video. But uh, I tried to make this one look like an old newspaper. Kind of worked out, kind of didn't. Um, yeah. Then we moved on to A Monster Calls. This was interesting. Um, I tried something different with my review. Uh, I printed it out all on a, like label making paper. Like a, like a label making printer. And well, this looks kind of cool. Never doing it again. It took way too long for this printout. Ah, then we get to February. February, I... Who? what did I do in February? February, we... Prospect. I think I watched Prospect a lot. I think that's what was going on here. I don't know. I also got sticker paper here. That's why there's a lot of this. Anyway. Huh. Then we had a fake book that, uh, I don't know, it was, it was supposed to be Ezra writing a book called The Streamer Girl, because The Streamer Girl is an actual book in that movie, and I don't know, I just made a cover for it, I don't know, anyway, it was cute, I don't know. Ah, uh, then we have Fifty Shades of Grey, I really enjoyed this series, I really like how the spread comes out, came out. I have my playlist of all the songs I was listening to while reading these books, um, yeah. Then we get to March. Uh, I went for a triple frontier theme, or just Frankie Morales in general. Um, yeah. I don't like how this spread came out. I didn't like it how it came out when I made it. <laughs> so there you go. Um, then we have these two reviews, which I can put better pictures up on the screen because I did these digitally. Because uh, I thought, why not? Let's make them digital. So I did. Uh, then we have a couple more. I realize that I don't want to make a spread for every single book that I read, like an explicit spread for them, like how I did uh, a deal with the Elf King. Um, so I just, I did half pages for these. I think in the future I'll need to do something better for half pages like this. Uh, then for a deal with the Elf King over here, um, I made this one, which I can put better on the screen for you. I made this review on my iPad. And then I wanted a physical one in my journal because I didn't want to print this out, but eventually I did print it out, which is funny. Um, but yeah, made a physical one, then printed out the e-copy. Anyway. And then we get to April where this was just a yellow theme because I have this really cute Pedro Pascal sticker. And you can see the tape lines uh, for some reason. I don't know what happened. I, I, I taped things to... I, I really don't know what happened. I don't know why they're here like this. Anyway, uh, Shadow and Bone review of the TV series, and then I also read A Demon in the Wood, and then I tried to copy that one girl from TikTok, but mine didn't turn out that well. You know, I think everybody's trying to do it. And I, I will do mine again in the future, but differently. Ah, then we get to May. May was a interesting month. I tried to go for a very collage style cover page, which I hate this page. I made a TikTok of making this page, if you want to go check that out. Uh, if you really want to, it's really up to you. Uh, but I dislike how this page looks. It's not, this is collaging like this, definitely not for me. But it could be for other people, so I hope somebody liked the video. Anyway, 
Ah, then we get to another page. This is just like a to-do list. Um, this was a page that you could like turn and, you know, continue on. Uh, didn't use it at all. And then we, people were doing a My Mosaic on TikTok, so I did one, but in postcards. So there's that for you. June was a Dorn Prince O'Baron theme uh, with some pride in there. Uh, I hate how this page looks. I wish I could tear it out, but I can't. Uh, then we get a collage page and a uh, half review, I guess, with a bunch of stickers just to fill up the space. Um, this was this was for the uh, Massivathon. The the Massivathon, which is this journal spread. Uh, I did not do that spread or that page. That oh my god, what am I trying to say? I didn't end up doing that readathon. It just I had too much going on that month. So here we are with an unused journal spread, and then in here we just have a bunch of the like committee stuff. So yeah, I printed out all of them because I didn't know which prompts I wanted to do, but I ended up doing none of them. Moving forward, uh, July was a Agent Whiskey theme from uh, Kingsman, the Golden Circle. Uh, this one, I also hate. I hate a lot of how these turned out. Just gonna keep going. I don't really have anything to say. August was a D and D. I got my first dice set ever. Themed spread. I love how this turned out. This little bit of August and the 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 D one and the potion. I love how this looks. I love I love this. I love this so fucking much. It's beautiful. I love it. This was just photos of my first ever dice set. Uh, it's from The Cozy Gamer. I can link their Etsy down below. Um, I think they're on vacation as of filming this, but they, they could be back. I'm not quite sure. Um, but I got the snow peaks, and I love how these look. They're beautiful. Sky in the Deep, I don't know if you watched that reading vlog that I made, but inside the secondhand book that I bought, there was a note that said Six Pork Saigon Spring Rolls, and I don't know what it means, I don't know what it's for, but I put it in here because it's really fucking funny. Uh, September was an Aurelium month that was supposed to look really cool. Like, can you tell how cool this could have been? Like, this could have been really cool. I still like how this turned out, um, but I, I didn't use it, unfortunately. Like, uh, like I didn't fill out my, my thing, the scholar key. I didn't, I didn't use any of this, unfortunately. I, I spent so long making this. I even, like, I even went out, bought ink to make black paper because I didn't have any. Don't ask, I don't understand where that went, but I never used this. It just didn't, it didn't happen. Maybe in the future I can come back, but I just never used this. Like, it could have been, it could have been really cool, but I just, I didn't use it, unfortunately. And then, uh, then we have uh, Persephone's Farewell Spread. Uh, I have a video of this one as well. If you want to watch that, I'll put it up in the cards. Um, this is all about Persephone's farewell from the Earth as she returned to the underworld. Uh, October. God, I love how this page looks. This page looks absolutely divine. It looks so good. Uh, this is not my original art. Um, this is from somebody on... Someone on Instagram, which I have already made a post about this particular spread, which I can... If you, if you go to my Instagram, you can find this spread. You can find who, who made this. I'll tag them below. Um, but yeah, 
I went for just like an overview of all the books I read in this month, and then funnily enough, I read another book that I couldn't fit onto this page, so it didn't really work, but it kind of worked. Ah, then I went to the in-between tour with uh, Black Veil Brides and In This Moment and some other people. Um, yeah, it was a very fun show. So we'll just scoot to the side. Uh, yeah, I just wrote about my experience. I wrote the set list. Um, I took photos of me and my brother. Um, there's me with my wristband and then uh, funnily enough, you can't see it here, but that is my brother. I'm right below him. You can't see it, but <laughs> anyway, we, we're, <laughs> we're there. And then, uh, let's see, how can I show you? I don't know. There's that photo and then there's, oh, that's upside down, but you know, you get the drift. We had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. Uh, then I read Morning Glory Milking Farm and then I purchased it from, uh, C.M. Nicasta's Etsy shop, and it came with a bunch of, like, cute little, I can't open it, hold on, cute little, like, swag stuff, so I keep that all in there. So then I went to the Van Gogh exhibit. Uh, this was really fun. Uh, the venue that they chose here in Colorado was not the best. It, it, whew, it lacked severely, uh, but the experience was really fun. Um, it was very cool to see stuff brought to life by my favorite artist of all time. So, the experience is fun. The venue, not so great. Uh, and then I read two more books that closed out October. I tried to go with a like, matching creepy creature theme. So there was that. Uh, November was not feeling making cover page, so I almost skipped it, but we, we just did, we just did that. Uh, then here is the wrap up. I didn't really, I read a lot of short books this month. I didn't really do a lot of reading, so I just figured I'd put it all into one page. And this is what you get. Uh, this empty cover space was uh, a Patreon short for uh, Katie Robert that doesn't have a cover, so I did not put, give it a cover. So there you go. Ah, Unis Honest. The one year anniversary came up of it being deleted, so I made a spread for that, and I can't open it. Um, oops. But yeah. That goes like that, and it's just... It was cute. We're gonna cover the writing because it's emotional, but yeah. I also made a journal link video about this one as well. I will link that one down below too. Uh, and then we just have like a little junk section of like random stuff that I have gotten over the the year of just like Christmas cards or there's my first paycheck from Barnes and Noble. Um, yeah, you know, it's just random stuff. And then we get to December. December's theme was V from Devil May Cry 5's tattoos. This is his chest tattoo, or most of it anyway. Um, and then there is just a quote by, I can't remember his name, by the poet that V quotes from for the entire game. Anyway, I like how this turned out. I think it looks kind of cool. Uh, then we get to this Christmas spread. Uh, my best friend came to visit me. Steve and I took Christmas photos. Does this look like a happy man to you? That is not a happy man, but he took photos with me anyway. But yeah, my best friend came to visit. Um, this is a, like, messy collage page of us putting up the Christmas tree. It was fun. It was cute. And then here's my December wrap-up. I like how this page turned out. Um, it looks a little messy, but I also love how festive it looks, so it's a win-lose situation. And then, this was just uh, what happened on Christmas Day, you know, family photo, my dad. But yeah, just some cute photos, and my dad being a goof. And then we get to the end of the journal, and I always end my journals the same exact way, because I think they're very important. It's a very important quote, this page. I don't like how the page turned out, 
but I love the quote, so it's kind of okay. The quote says, so tell me, my dear, what have you learned this year? Enough to fill a book, and so I have. And I have. I've filled an entire book. So yeah, and then I have a bunch of like leftover pages that I am not gonna fill. Um, and then when we get to the back here, uh, we just have a bunch of like stickers, uh, stickers that I made, and then a bunch of washi tape stuff, and then you get to the end of the journal. Okay, so that was my 2021 reading journal. I learned a lot this year, and I learned that it's okay to not be creative for every single spread that you do. So yeah, that was my reading journal. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, sucks for you. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video. Bye!